prove that the area of an ellipse x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1 is pi a b. Now, ellipse, uh, a circle is a form of an ellipse. The area of a circle is well known, which is pi r squared. Uh, this is not well known, so we, have, we, we need to prove this using integration. Okay, so I've drawn uh, an ellipse centered at 0, 0. This is the equation of an ellipse centered at 0, 0, where your major radius is A and your minor radius is B. It can be either either way. So I've taken the major radius A and the minor radius is B. Okay, centered at 0, 0. So uh, if you want to find the area of an ellipse using integration, what we do is, we are we consider this to be a very infinitesimally small rectangle okay and the width of the rectangle is dy dx and the height is y so and the area of that rectangle so area of that rectangle is y times dx so we need to find y as a function of x, a, and b. Okay, and then uh, we are find we are going to find the area of this part, this part from zero to a. This is zero and this is a. So the total area of the ellipse would be four times this area. Okay. Okay. So let's first find what is y. Uh, we are going to write make y the subject of this. So it's a bit of algebra. So x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared is 1. So taking away x squared over a squared from both sides, you get y squared over b squared is 1 minus x squared over a squared. Okay. Now multiplying both sides by b squared, this is y squared is equal to 1 times b squared is b squared minus bx squared over a squared. Okay. Now uh, multiplying or cross multiplying yeah this is over 1 so if you multiply this by a squared it also multiply this with a squared so that's how it becomes b squared a squared minus b squared x squared over a squared so y squared is if you factor out b squared over a squared you get a squared minus x squared okay so y as a function of a b and x is plus or minus b over a square root of a squared minus x squared. Now this, the upper part of the curve, or out, the upper part can be written as, this upper part is, as a function of y is, uh, b over a times square root of a squared minus x squared, because the lower part would be have the negative. So the lower part of the ellipse be y is equal to minus b over a times square root of a squared minus x squared. So we are going to we are finding we are finding this we are only interested in this part of the ellipse or this part of the y, and then you multiply it by four. So because as uh, this ellipse is symmetrical over y axis, you times this area, this area by four, you'll get the area of the ellipse. So b over a, okay. So now I'm taking only the positive part. So this is, uh, so the area would be four times uh, the integral from zero to a. So we are, in other words, what we are doing is we are finding, we are adding up all the infinitesimally small rectangles from zero to a. That will give us this part of the ellipse. Okay. So that's why I multiply by four. Okay. So this leads us to this form. So 4b and a are constants. So 4b over a times square root of, so integration of uh, a squared minus x squared dx. Now, to find the integration of this is a very long uh, method. We have made a video. This is a link. You can watch the video of the integration of this. Okay, so this is the link. You can watch that video. So this integration of this is you can get it in this video okay so that is this of course i've got that page already here so this is integration of a squared minus x squared is this huge formula 
which is a squared over 2 times sine inverse of x over a plus x over 2 times square root of a squared minus x squared plus c. But this was an indefinite integral. One, one. If you have a definite integral, this gets cancelled. Okay, so here we uh, we have come here. So this integrates. Uh, this integrates. This integrates to this form. Okay, that is a squared over two sine inverse of x over a plus x over two integration of uh, a squared minus x squared. Uh, the lower bound is a. 0 and the upper bound is a. So what you have to do is simply substitute a and then take away uh, 0 from that. So if you substitute a into that, it will become a squared over 2 times sine inverse of a over a plus a squared over 2 times a squared minus x squared. So in place of x, you have to put a. So this becomes, so this becomes 0. This becomes 0. This is sine inverse. This is also zero. This is also zero. So what happens? Minus. Uh, so this uh, sine sine inverse of zero is zero, or sine zero is zero. Okay. So sine inverse of one. Sine inverse of one is uh, pi by two. Sine inverse of one is pi by two, or 90 so let me show you that uh, you should be knowing that by heart so let me change my setting to degree so that you can see 90 degree so if you go shift sign shift sign of 1 is 90 so sign inverse so this is nothing but pi by 2 which is 90 degree so <coughs> Uh, so this is nothing but 4b over a times a squared and sine inverse of this is pi by 2. So this is nothing but 4b over a times a squared over 2 times pi by 2. So this is simple algebra now. So this 4 and 4 gets cancelled. a and a gets cancelled. So the final answer is a b pi or area is pi a b. This is of you. The area of an ellipse is pi times a times b, where a is the major radius and b is the minor radius, or a is the minor radius and b is the major radius.